Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this lesson video, I will be discussing the mold concept. We will define what is mold and how do we determine the number of moles of a substance and why is it important to determine the number of moles of a substance. So join me for the next few minutes as I discuss another interesting topic in chemistry. This is your teacher, Sir Mark Laroya. Let us now define mole. What is mole? It is the amount of matter that contains the Avogadro's number. Avogadro's number is equal to 6.02 times 10 raised to 23 particles per mole. So we multiply the number of moles of a substance with this Avogadro's number for us to determine the number of particles present for that certain amount of substance. It is also the base unit amount of a substance in SI unit. So, one of the importance of determining the number of moles of a substance is we quantify matter by the number of moles instead of by the number of its particles, either by atoms or molecules. When we talk about particles of a substance, it could either be in terms of atom for an element or molecules for a compound or ions or charge elements. So, for us to get the number of particles, we must first determine the number of moles and then multiply it by our Avogadro's number to determine the exact number of particles of a substance. Again, either atom for element molecules for compound, and ions for charged elements. Before we directly proceed with the computation or determining the number of moles of a substance, let us first discuss the two basic concepts of atomic weight and molecular weight. So when we talk about atomic weight, these are the individual mass of an element, while the molecular weight is simply the sum of all atomic weights of a compound. So for example, for carbon, the atomic weight of carbon is 12 grams per mole. For oxygen, the atomic weight is 16 grams per mole. And for hydrogen, the atomic weight is 1 gram per mole. So these are all the individual atomic weights of each of these given elements for carbon, oxygen, and hydrogen. For molecular weight, it is simply the sum of all atomic weights of the elements present in a compound. So let's say we consider water H2O, which is a compound. To get the molecular weight of water or H2O, we simply get or add all of the atomic weights of the given elements or the present elements for the compound water. So that is simply the atomic weight of hydrogen and then multiply it by 2 plus the atomic weight of oxygen. So you have now the atomic weight of hydrogen which is 1 will be multiplied by 2 then added by the atomic weight of oxygen which is 16. So basically it's 2 plus 16 and therefore the molecular weight of H2O or water is simply 18 grams per mole. So this is how we compute for the molecular weight of a compound. For determining the number of moles of a substance, we have the formula, the number of moles is equal to mass of the substance all over atomic weight or molecular weight. So it depends on the given substance. 
if it is if it is an element we use its atomic weight if it is a compound we solve first or compute for the molecular weight so let us now solve a problem involving moles determine the number of moles of 160 grams of sulfur so in this problem our given is sulfur which is just an element and the given mass of sulfur is 160 grams that is the given mass so the atomic weight of sulfur is simply 32 grams per mole so we can now solve for the number of moles of sulfur so the number of moles of sulfur now is equal to the mass which is 160 grams divided by its atomic weight which is 32 grams per mole so the number of moles of sulfur is now equal to 5 moles that is the number of moles of sulfur given its mass equal to 160 grams another example determine the number of moles of 100 grams of carbon dioxide so in our given our substance is now a compound so given the mass of carbon dioxide which is 100 grams before we get the number of moles we must first determine the molecular weight of the compound carbon dioxide carbon dioxide has a chemical formula of co2 one carbon and two oxygen so the molecular mass of carbon dioxide would be the atomic weight of carbon plus twice of the atomic weight of oxygen and so we have 12 plus 16 times 2 so basically it's just 12 plus 32 so the molecular weight of carbon dioxide is 44 grams per mole so we have now the mass and the molecular weight of carbon dioxide so we can now determine the number of moles of the compound the number of moles of carbon dioxide now would be 100 grams all over 44 grams per mole so the unit of mass will be cancelled leaving us with the unit of mole so the number of moles of our compound carbon dioxide would be equal to 2.27 moles so this is an example of determining the number of moles of a compound another example would be how many moles are there in a 360 grams of water so the given substance is again a compound which is water with a mass of 360 grams the molecular or the chemical formula of water is H2O so its molecular weight would be twice the atomic weight of hydrogen plus the atomic weight of oxygen so that will be 1 times 2 plus 60 so the molecular weight of water or H2O is now 18 grams per mole so we can now determine the number of moles of water so the number of moles of water is simply equal to 360 grams all over 18 grams per mole so again the unit of mass will be cancelled out leaving us with the unit of mole so the number of moles of water would be equal to 20 moles A different problem involving moles would be determining the mass of a substance. So let us solve this problem. What is the mass of 25 moles of calcium carbonate? So in this problem, our substance is calcium carbonate, which is a compound. And the given quantity is in terms of number of moles, 25 moles so we are asked to determine its mass so the number of moles of calcium carbonate is equal to 25 moles first 
we must first get the molecular weight of calcium carbonate. So, getting the molecular weight of calcium carbonate, that is simply the atomic weight of calcium plus the atomic weight of carbon plus 3 times the atomic weight of oxygen. So, that is 40 plus 12 plus 16 times 3. So, that is equal to 100 grams per mole. That is the molecular weight of our calcium carbonate. Remember that the number of moles of a substance is equal to mass all over molecular weight. So, coming from this formula, we can derive the formula for the mass of the substance. So, the mass now would be equal to the number of moles times the molecular weight. So, we simply multiply the number of moles and its molecular weight. Therefore, the molecular or rather the mass of calcium carbonate is equal to 25 moles times the molecular weight 100 grams per mole. So, the unit of mole will be cancelled out leaving us with the unit of grams which is the unit of mass. So, the mass now of calcium calcium carbonate is equal to 2,500 grams. So that is how we solve for or determine the mass of a substance given the number of moles. Thank you very much for watching this lesson video. I hope you learned something new in chemistry. Please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and like, share this video to your friends and classmates. See you again next time and God bless.